and welcome to Model Train Fun. Today we are going to look at uh, unboxing some uh, freight cars from Brava. These are some uh, sliding wall freight cars. It's the class uh, HBIS 299. Uh, as always, uh, this is my own purchase and it's not uh, sponsored. So these cars I've actually been looking at for some time. Uh, I actually really like uh, the design of this. I like the, the fact that they are sliding wall cars, although I'm not sure that the, that's actually modeled. Um, they are actually uh, from uh, also from era three and four. So where the uh, modern uh, uh, freight is mostly containers or semi-trailers and so on, these represent to me some of the more classic uh, uh, transport of freight uh, where it's actually either parcels or, or other cargo. Um, these uh, freight cars uh, Brava have uh, produced uh, over the recent years in many variants. Um, I got three here. Uh, so I have the uh, Brava 48975 here. I got the uh, Brava 48990 and I got the uh, Brava 48991. Let's uh, start by unwrapping them. So uh, what I typically like about Brava is they have a very uh, detailed models uh, and they are in a nice uh, plastic uh, container as well. However, they can be difficult to get out. So let me try and see if I can. So there's typically uh, some stickers on it that you need to take off. There's also a sticker here somewhere. All right, let me see if I can, maybe I can just cut it. So, all right, let's see if we can get it out. All right, it's a top cover plastic here. And then we should be able to uh, get it out. All right, let's look at this one here. So this is a car uh, where it has shown the Swabian, Swaben Brau, I guess it's called. Um, so it's actually a, a brewery. If we look at it, it looks uh, very nice, very detailed. Even the undercarriage has a lot of details here. Very nice. I noticed that uh, no couplings are mounted, so I'll probably have to find those in the box. Let's try and go back to the box and open this box. Yes, indeed. We have uh, couplings here. We got additional brake hoses and more prototypical couplers that we really cannot use in when doing model trains. However, they look nice. Oh, there is a manual as well. Let's try and open it. All right. It's, uh, there's even something here in English. So here's the history about the cars. I can get AC wheels for them. How often to oil them, couplings, what's in the uh, in the box, and then an assembly diagram. All right, not quite sure what this is. So this is the entire spare part list. All right, let's uh, open the next one. Aren't sure if this one opens the same way? Actually, it doesn't, I see. Yeah, well, it does. So there's two uh, stickers you have to uh, cut or peel off. All right. Let's see if we can get it out. This one 
lo also looks very nice. Pretty much like the other one, just a different uh, commercial on it. So this is a Krups. All right. Cool. And here we have the uh, final one. Evidently, this one doesn't want to come out. All right, it looks like we finally conned it out. So this is the third one, Hela, looks uh, very nice, exactly like the other ones, except this one is yellow and from Hela. Cool. Let's uh, have a look at these uh, three nice cars. So these are the uh, sliding wall uh, freight cars uh, from Brava. Uh, the class is uh, HBIS 299. Um, when they were originally built, uh, they were actually called KLMMGS and then later on changed to HBIS. Um, I'm guessing this is at the time when the UIC uh, codes uh, were introduced. Um, their purpose is actually uh, to uh, transport uh, general cargo or parcels. Uh, if we compare these uh, freight cars with the, the predecessors, the idea with these cars was uh, to make a set of cars where it's a lot easier to actually uh, load and unload cargo. So that's why um, the side of the freight cars are basically two uh, big doors and then there is a uh, a column in the middle to hold the roof. Um, so each door actually slides on top of the other, basically giving uh, access uh, from the entire half of the freight car. Uh, and you could actually shift the door so you could get to the other half as well. But this fashion, it would make it a lot easier to uh, load than previous cars. Uh, the class was uh, being built from around uh, 1966. Uh, and as I understand it, the uh, number of car, cars built uh, actually ended up with uh, 8,444, which uh, was a number reached in 1978. If we look at the eras, this is actually mostly era 4 uh, freight cars, which is basically uh, from uh, 1970 to 1990. Um, you could also use them in era 3, uh, as they are actually built from uh, 66. Uh, these uh, three cars here are actually uh, made for Deutsche Bahn. I am unsure if these uh, three cars actually existed in uh, real life and actually uh, depict real uh, uh, freight cars uh, by Deutsche Bahn. Um, sometimes when you have uh, freight cars with the commercials and especially uh, with the beer ones, uh, they are imaginary. So if anybody knows, uh, please let me know in the comments below. If we look at the uh, first of the uh, freight cars, this is the Brava 48975. Uh, this is actually the Swabenbrau, which is a brewery from uh, Stuttgart. So this one here is a uh, class HBIS 299. And you can see the uh, prototype ID uh, below. The second uh, freight car, which is uh, Brava uh, 48990, this is the Krups uh, freight car, which is, um, so Krups is a German maker of various appliances uh, for kitchens, so small appliances, uh, coffee makers, and so on. Um, this is a HBIS 299, uh, and you can see the uh, prototype uh, ID below. 
And then we have the third and uh, final uh, freight car. So this is Brava 48991. Uh, this is actually uh, not an HBIS, but uh, a KLMMGS 299. So this one uh, evidently has been depicted a little earlier than the others, so it has been reclassified. So this is uh, Hella. Hella is a German uh, automotive uh, parts supplier, so car parts supplier known uh, especially for lights and electronic parts. Uh, I do remember them myself from my childhood as uh, popular light bulbs uh, for cars. Um, this one is actually from the uh, home city uh, Lipstadt, uh, where Hella also is. And you can see the prototype ID below. I will just do a slow uh, drive-by as well. So I'm using my BR232, the Ludmilla. Uh, to be quite honest, I have no clue if it fits with these uh, freight cars. Uh, please let me know if you know uh, what the correct uh, locomotive is uh, for these. First we have the Swabenbrau. Very nice. Really like this one. Always in for a beer. Then we have the Krups. And then finally uh, the Hella. All looking very nice and uh, driving very nicely indeed.
So what do I think of uh, these uh, HBIS 299 sliding uh, wall freight cars from Brava? Well, um, first of all, they are very detailed. Uh, they have a nice print as well. Uh, you saw even the underbody had a lot of details, uh, pipings and so on. So I would say uh, they are a joy to look at. Um, and I would say they are even so fine and the print is so fine that even small uh, defects, uh, if there were any, would stand out. If you noticed on uh, some of the videos, one of the uh, side videos, there was actually a small uh, green straw uh, from my grass mat. So my green uh, grass mat, it stood out like a sore thumb. But there are no such defects on these freight cars. They are, they are very, very nice. Um, the other good thing is that uh, well, all the uh, details are actually attached. Well, except the brake hose uh, and so on. But you would only attach them either at one end or just uh, at both ends if you're just hand sta having it stand out for, for show. So I like the fact that all the details are attached. All in all, the uh, freight cars have uh, good running characteristics, uh, which uh, to uh, some extent could be a little uh, surprising because they are actually plastic models. Um, they are not uh, metal. Um, they are not what I would call light plastic either. They actually do have a decent weight, not as much as uh, if it was metal, of course. Uh, and the wheels are very, very uh, free running. So I would have to say they, they were easy uh, to push along and, and they rolled uh, very, very, uh, very, very nicely. Um, the one bad thing I didn't like much, uh, it was perhaps difficult for you to see here in the video, is the couplers. Uh, I must admit, uh, backing up a locomotive to these couplers, I, it, it barely catches on. It was difficult to uh, uncouple them as well. However, the good thing is it's uh, NIM uh, uh, couplers, so uh, you can actually uh, easily exchange these cups, couplers with uh, whatever you desire. So I would say all in all, I really, really like these uh, freight cars. Uh, they are nice and detailed. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you have these freight cars, or if you know uh, what locomotive actually would fit with these uh, freight cars, please let me know in the comments uh, below. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel, uh, provide any suggestions uh, or ideas and so on. Uh, hit the little uh, notification bell such that you'll be notified of uh, upcoming videos on this channel. Enjoy!